for this circuit we need to find out what value of r will give us the current uh, the value of current uh, 4 amps through this 80 ohms resistance so we have to find the value of r for which it, it will happen now we can see that there are two parallel paths this one this is one and this is another one and the total current is 20 amps so we can apply current divider rule and we know the current through this branch is 4 amps so 4 over the tot uh, here is equal to total current divided by sum of the, regist the parallel, uh, resistances of the parallel path so the resistance of this path is 80 plus 40 that is 120 so 120 and this one is R so plus R and since 4 amps is the current through this one uh, we will have to multiply by the other resistance which is R so this one becomes 480 I am just multiplying uh, both sides by this one so 480 plus 4R is equal to 20R here so that is 16 R is 480 or R is 30 ohms so that is the value of R and we need to find what is the power through uh, that resistance when the current is uh, when uh, when the current through 80 ohms is 4 amps so the current through 30 ohms will be 4 minus uh, 20 minus 4 that is 16 so PR will be we know power is I square R and the current uh, the current through the resistance is the 3 30 ohms resistance is 20 minus 4 that is 16 so 16 square times 30 so that one is 7680 watt or 7.68 kilowatt so that's the kilowatts that's the power dissipated by resistance R or 30 ohms resistance so what we have noticed in this problem we didn't have to use the value of this resistance this resistance uh, we didn't need the value though the value was given because there were only two parallel paths and we just applied current divider rule to find the uh, required unknown